Hi guys, it's Katrina from Katrina's Creation. I'm here joined with my little sister Lucy. She's gonna be showing you what she got for her birthday. So that's first thing. Um, if there's any little, get down. If there's any little, um, what's the word? Distractions, it's the kids. They're not listening, they keep coming in. Every time we go to record, they keep making noise. So, um, yeah, Lucy, how many balls did you get? 20. Ooh, do you know what you're going to make of them? No, not yet. I don't know. I'm still trying to make um, my daughter um, clothes for her Barbies and clothes, well, trying to make clothes for her babies at the minute because she keeps saying she wants me to make them. Um, her clothes, all her clothes are ruined, so. Yeah, well, it was me that bought these. Um, <laughs> I heard about, I've never used Mariner Double Knit, but I've heard about it from Karen over at Casalistics. So I thought I'd buy some, not for me, because I'm on a ban, even though I have bought yarn today, but that's for an order. Um, yeah, I thought I'd get this for my sister, let her try it and let me know how it is. Um, so yeah, we've got, I've got her two balls of all the colours I thought that she might like. Even yeah, I'd, I do I'd, like them. Oh right, yeah. So, um, I'll go through the shades. What colour would you say that was? Like a blue. Or is it, ter that's not teal. Is that teal? Is that teal? I don't know. Blue teal. The shade number for that is 281. These are all 100% acrylic. It hasn't got... Whose phone is that? No idea. Is she on a different phone? I don't know. I'm gonna stop now. It ain't my phone, it ain't no, your phone. No, Whose no, phone no. is it? <laughs> right, so that was the blue. The shade is 281. Then we've got two balls of gray. The shade for that is 27. Um, two balls of red. The shade for that is 42. Black, the shade for that is 44. This is like, is that like a rose colour? It's pinky. Yeah, it's not like a baby pink. It's like... I don't know. It's like a rosy sort of colour. That's shade 46. Super chunky, that's not super chunky. I don't know if anything else on there. Um, right, so we've got two balls white, two balls orange, two balls of lilac, two balls of le yellow, I was in between saying lemon and, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and two balls of a different pink. Yeah, that's definitely, so the pink shade number is 52. Did you just hear that? Mm. One of the puppies growling. <laughs> The white shade number is 40. The orange shade number is 63. Oh, now this one's going to be awkward. Oh, lilac shade number is 53. Was that all of them? Did I say all of them? Um, did I say the yellow? No, shade 70. So she's got all of these to take home in a lovely big box. I keep getting lift in it. I don't want the box, though. <laughs> you can have it, because I've got enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's so um, hard to rip up and put it in the bin. Well, don't. Just keep your, keep your ball in it yeah, until you try something else for it to go. Um, this week, also, um, Karen released, I think she released her pattern for the um, cushion that she did. That cushion. The Reflections cushion. And I was one of the testers. And this is my finished cushion. I am going to take a picture and put it up on her group. So you can see the cross stitches in it there. Just different colours. That's so cool. It's, do you know how easy it is? It's so oh, easy as well. Easy. It is. It's how such an easy... How do you keep changing pack. the colours though? You just put a new colour on. And that's the back. So I put red buttons on. But yeah, that's my one. All done. I don't even know where I'm going. I think my son, I think Kaleem's having this. So, yeah, that one's done. Um, I've got, this was just a, supposed to be an extra one for this week, this video, just to show the wall that, or the yarn that my sister got. 
I've got my normal video that's supposed to go up tomorrow, which I'm going to try and do later on tonight, maybe tomorrow morning. So I've got an engagement party to be at tomorrow. So um, I will show you some of the pattern books that I've got recently. I won't go through them in too much detail because you probably would have already seen them because um, Jan from um, Urban Gypsy Crochet has got these books and that's where I found the how I found them. If it wouldn't have been for her saying what books they were, I would never have known. But um, this was one of the books. So, and this is some, but this isn't just crochet, this is knit and crochet in here. So that one's got a few nice patterns in there that I will take a look at at some point. And that's patent book 3800. And it's got 12 different patterns in here. But the one I like, no, it wasn't that one, it's this one. I like the stitch on that one. Because you can't see a pattern or anything, so it's just a picture. But that sounds. That's better. Sorry, Lucy, block over her face. <laughs> it's all right. So, yeah, I'll get round to doing those. Um, and I saw this one. And I want to try that as well. I think that's nice, that one. Yeah. And then, this one. And I got this one from Purple Linda. Oh, yeah. Actually, I've got... All of these from Purple Linda. I think I said that in my last video that I was waiting for some books to come from Purple Linda. This book is okay because it's for bigger people, but I don't really like the stitches that they're using. They're using closed stitches instead of like nicer stitches. So I might follow these loosely and just change the stitch. But yeah, it's okay. It will do. And um this one as well is another book that Jan has shown on her channel. So um, you would have seen the patterns and stuff in here. And this is all crochet and there is some lovely stuff. But I want to try that one. Yeah. I like that. So I like this one. I want to do one of those. So yeah, I have got quite a few bits and I have got one finished item. The mermaid tail is now finished and ready to be shown. Well, once I've blocked it, I've got to block it. And um, I will do that in the up and coming video, which will either be later on today or tomorrow. And um, yeah, so that's about it for us from today. Um, mm -hmm. If you can hear that noise, it's my niece and my dogs. Cleo! Come here. Is that who's running after the ball? Hmm. Tennis ball crazy. Bring it here. It's okay. Bring it. Come then. She always likes to get in the videos, don't you? Say hello. Oh, no, not right in my mouth. Say hello. Look, who's that? Who's that, Cleo? No, don't look at me. Where's the ball gone? So this is what they're running around after, this ball right here. Have I got your attention? Have I got your attention? Yeah? <laughs> Do you want it? No, you can't have it. Ready? Steady? Go! No? I'll throw it, they're going to crash into everything. Monica, move your head out of the way. <laughs> you it, went went, in there. it went in there yeah, and they've run straight down. <laughs> they're going to be searching for it now. So yeah, this is my life. Um, we're now down to two puppies left. I've got two puppies. Yeah, they're sleeping. they're sleeping. The others have gone to their forever homes. So, um, just the last two to go, but they're not too bad. I'll get loads of puppy cuddles. So, um, yeah, that's just a quick video from us, really. Um, Lucy's looking to make some, is it for a Barbie or for a doll? 
Well, she wants to have her babies, but I've only been just trying to practice on her Barbie. Barbies at the minute. But she wants actual like baby doll clothes. If anyone so, knows of anywhere where we can get some patterns, kind of not complicated patterns, she wouldn't be able to follow a complicated no, pattern. Just like simple ones. Something simple. Let me know so that I can pass them on to her, so that she's got something to get her started. Yeah. Making mums and bits. So, um, hopefully, next time I'll have something to actually show. Also, I don't know how many of you are actually in my group on Facebook or got me as a friend on Facebook, but um, I posted up a picture, was it last week, of uh, Grafgan. I don't know how many of you know what that is, but it's basically a picture within a blanket and you. You have a pattern as such, but it's just blocks, and you know it gives you what colours go where, sort of thing. But I did one, and it's of it's a Bob Marley silhouette. I've had an order for one of those, which I'm going to be starting once the wool that I yarn that I've ordered comes. So that's why I had to order it yarn because I needed it especially for that. So um, you'll see updates and progress reports on that. Obviously, doing a graph takes a lot longer than something normal because you have to be constantly watching what you're doing. If you put colour in the wrong place, it messes up the whole picture. And I'm also, because you know it's red, yellow, green, and mm. the Bob Marley silhouette's black, I'm doing one in black and white. I'm going to do a Yo. white background. Oh. With, um, white background with black Bob Marley. Yeah. But I've got guests right now. So we're going to go, and you'll see my next video tomorrow. Bye.